you've had big rains, what's happened to the nutrients in your field? You know, everybody thinks about nitrogen. As soon as we get a big rain, it's, oh boy, I had some nitrogen that I put out ahead of time. How much of that nitrogen is really going to hold in my field? And, and you know what? There's really no good rule of thumb that we can give you to say, oh, you got an inch of rain? Well, you lost 10 pounds of nitrogen. We don't know that. There are so many factors that go into play uh, to figure out what's going on. But the cool thing is, is with nitrogen, for example, you can figure it out for five dollars. So you don't have to ask me or ask an agronomist or ask anybody. For five bucks, you can go out and pull a nitrate test in your soil and see what's there. And then you'll know the answer for sure. Okay, so what we do suggest you do right now, if you're going to put on more nitrogen yet this year, you're even considering that. And oh, and by the way, you might say, well, it's getting kind of late for that. No, it's not. Almost all the night, well, I shouldn't say almost all. A very large percentage of the nitrogen is pulled up after you get to about R1. So, I mean, it's real late in the season, especially after V8, that's most of the nitrogen. So I'm just trying to say, hey, we got a lot of nitrogen needs yet, you might want to take a look at this. But while you're out there, and the reason why we're talking about this today is everybody's thinking about nitrogen, let's also think about sulfur and boron. They're leachable too, maybe not quite as leachable as nitrogen, but if you're not properly addressing sulfur and boron, you might spend $80 an acre on nitrogen and it doesn't do you as much good as it should because you didn't spend $2 on boron or $5 on sulfur. So keep in mind that all three of these nutrients can leach. And for those reasons, we're seeing good success with many programs across the country on various farms where guys are applying multiple doses of these leachable nutrients through the season. So some will call it spoon feeding, some will say, well, I'm just fertigating at real low rates through the year, through my irrigation setup. Uh, whatever the case may be for you, there are many good calls for putting on multiple doses of these leachable nutrients. Now, that doesn't mean you have to make a whole separate application. Maybe you're already going out there with something. Maybe you've got some bugs and you say, oh, I got to spray for some insects. Uh, can I throw a little bit of one of these nutrients in with my spray? You absolutely could in small doses. But rather than going out willy nilly, we want you to measure things and see what's happening on your farm. So again, soil tests are awesome doing some plant tissue analysis to see what's actually getting into that crop is important too. Recently I was reading a magazine article that said nitrogen application doesn't tie to yield. And I thought, well of course, it never has. You got to look at total nitrogen in the soil. We talk about this all the time. It's very possible that you can have some leaching of some of the nitrogen you've applied out there. But don't forget that just from organic matter mineralization in your field, you're going to be getting more nitrogen every day, literally every day during the summer, there's more free release of nitrogen. It's awesome. We figure 20 to 30 pounds of nitrogen per 1% of organic matter, roughly. So let's say you had 5% organic matter, that's 100 to 150 pounds of nitrogen that's gonna come available at any time between the start and the end of your growing season. For us, the start of our growing season is about April 15th, the end's about October 15th. So sometime in that six month window, that's when that nitrogen is going to come available. If you're raising wheat and it finishes early, yeah, you're not going to get a lot of that mineralization nitrogen available for your wheat when that's growing. But boy, for corn, for soybeans, when those crops need them later on in the season, yeah, there's going to be a lot of that that's coming available. So don't forget about what your, your organic matter is in the soil. And I agree with Darren, we want to test for nitrate, but it's also helpful to have those tests from hopefully last fall or even the fall before to know what is your organic matter level because it's whole different if I got 7% organic matter versus if I have two. And while it's certainly good to make adjustments from year to year, you see, hey, I made a mistake this year. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to change the program. You can still make some adjustments this year with your crop. If you're noticing some things starting to get a little bit on the low side, there is a chance to get out and foliar feed and fix those things. Yeah, and again, don't forget, nitrogen, sulfur, and boron all should be looked at because they're all leachable nutrients. Well, getting the nutrients right in your crop is important, and so is controlling our weed of the week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up next. <music>